Hello and we're back and here's five TV shows that are good, bad, underrated, overrated or forgotten as chosen by you guys. Yes, here we go. Jack the Ripper, 1988, Thames Television, is a historical crime drama that aired on ITV, starring Michael Caine as Inspector Frederick Aberline. The miniseries is set in 1888 in the Whitechapel district of London and revolves around the infamous Jack the Ripper murders. The drama follows Inspector Aberline in his efforts to track down the mysterious and brutal killer who is terrorising the streets of London. The series presents various theories and suspects related to the true identity of Jack the Ripper, blending historical facts with dramatic speculation. Michael Caine's portrayal of Abilene received critical acclaim, and the series was noted for its atmospheric depiction of Victorian London and the intense mystery surrounding the Ripper case. New Commissioner, the Prime Minister, maybe even the Queen herself, if she gets to hear about it. Then the files will start to disappear, and they'll stamp the case unsolved. Then you should have let me shoot him. Shouldn't you? So you're not thinking of keeping this quiet? The man's as good as dead. He'll never stand trial. Why cause more damage? Damn it, he's a killer! If you don't agree, you can talk to my successor. But I warn you, his response will almost certainly be the same as mine. Sit down. And the vote for this one is... Excellent. Excellent. So Kieran Jones, 5460, says, Loved Day of the Triffids. I remember tripods very well too. It was on early Saturday evening. Jack the Ripper was good too. And what were those nurses doing to that man's ass in rabies though? Well, if you want to find out what those nurses are doing to that man's ass in rabies, you got to watch this video here. Prime Time 7778 on CBS. The Amazing Spider-Man 1977-1979 on CBS. The Amazing Spider-Man is a live-action television series that aired on CBS, starred Nicholas Hammond as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. The series follows the adventures of Peter Parker, a college student and freelance photographer who gains superpowers after being bitten by a radioactive spider. With his newfound abilities, which include super strength, agility and the ability to cling to walls, Peter dons the Spider-Man suit to fight crime and protect the citizens of New York City. Do something! I already did. It's time to begin our meeting. Shall we step inside? The vote for this one is... Oh, it's very underrated. It's very, very good, actually. Underrated. So Mike Maybury, 7121, says... Underrated 1970s live-action Spider-Man. While it oozes 70s cheese, it's actually a fun and engaging watch. Nicholas Hammond does a great job as Peter Parker. While it wasn't on long, I think it's essential viewing for superhero fans. And luckily, all episodes are on YouTube. <laughs> Podge and Rog, A Scare at Bedtime, 1997-2006 on RTE. The show stares two grotesque and mischievous puppet brothers, Podge and Rog, who recount bizarre and often macabre tales just before bedtime. The series is set in a rundown farmhouse where Podge and Rog sit by the fireside and narrate spooky, humorous and sometimes darkly twisted stories. Each episode features a new tale, often involving a mix of horror, satire and black comedy. A Scare at Bedtime became a cult favourite in Ireland due to its unique blend of humour and horror as well as these distinctive characters. It ran for several seasons and was applauded for its unconventional approach to late
late night television entertainment. What are you listening to? I said, what are you listening to? What do you think you're at listening to, to, to death metal satanic music? Ah, uh, you spoil all my fun. Oh, summoning up the queer fellas far from fun. Now tell me the six things I told you not to do that summons up the queer fella. Oh, listening to death metal, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Spitting in the church. Yep. Shouting at goats. <sighs> Having dirty dreams about Mary Black. <laughs> Number five, putting go faster stripes on your car. Number six, uh, <laughs> microwave and pets. Right, so no more Dang. summons it up the queer fatty, you Dang. feckless rogue. Yeah. You'd end up like that poor Egypt, Damien McArsago. And the vote for this one is? Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, yes. Stephen Bride, 1308, says, might be a little too Irish, but. Some I'd like to suggest are Excellent Podge and Rog, A Scare at Bedtime, 97 to 2006, produced by Double Z Enterprises and broadcast on RTE. Coming from the same producers and puppeteers and original show as Zig and Zag, all starting on The Den, this more adult show had 150 episodes, each usually around 10 minutes long, and featured the brothers in their home of Ballydung Manor, with sadistic Podge telling Rog, his equally sadistic idiotic brother, a comedic tale of horror intended to keep him from doing something that he says he wants to do by showing him the dangers. It was brilliant, leading to wonderful parodies of Foster and Allen and TV specials. After this, they also had a chat show that ran for four series, but please check out A Scare at Bedtime if you can. All right, let's try this again. This is Ginsey, 2011-2014, first on BBC3, 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 and then Sky Atlantic. This is Ginsey as a surreal comedy series set on the fictional island of Ginsey, a place where eccentricity is the norm and the bizarre is commonplace. The show follows the lives of the island's residents, particularly the island's two main administrators, Arbiter Maven, played by Justin Chubb, and his assistant Sporrell, played by Chris Bran. The island of Jinsey is depicted as a dystopian society where the citizens are closely monitored by a network of surveillance cameras called tessellators and where strange customs and odd rituals are a part of everyday life. Welcome to the island of Jinsey. Explore the wildlife. What are you up to after lunch? Experience traditional customs. And meet the locals. I've suffered from terrible wind all my life. Marvel. <sighs> At its three wonders. Mickey's bucket, Mrs. Burley's face, oh. and the lemony dog. Oh, citrus. Are there any sharp objects in your beard? Seagulls. Check out the island's beard competition. <laughs> A beard? What? Then kick back and enjoy the talent show. That's not good. And the vote for this one is... Excellent. Excellent. If you like this sort of thing. So David Barton, 1928, says this is Ginsey, 2010 to 2014. It's a very strange sitcom set on the fictional Channel Island of Ginsey. Its setting is a cross between the original Wicker Man movie, 1984, and Monty Python at its most surreal. It featured cameos from Greg Davies, David Tennant, Rob Brydon, Catherine Tate, Peter Serafinovich, he's appearing on this channel a lot lately, isn't he? Kevin Eldon, Harry Hill, amongst others. Highlights include The Element Report with Tracy Henge, Sandy's Choice, a talent contest judged by a dog, the Punishment Roundup with Mild Electricals and Music Pack featuring folk dribbler Melody Lame. I understood some of those words, but not all of them. But you've got a contrary opinion here from Andy D 1304 that says, This is Jinsei even worse than the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> Oh, 
Secret Valley 1980 to 1984, ABC Australia. Secret Valley is a children's adventure series set in the Australian countryside. The show revolves around a group of kids who discover and subsequently defend a hidden valley known as Secret Valley from various threats. The valley is an idyllic, secret hideaway that the children turn into a clubhouse and adventure ground. The central conflict of the series often involves the children's efforts to protect Secret Valley from unscrupulous adults, particularly the recurring antagonists, the town's corrupt businessmen and his troublesome sons who seek to exploit or destroy the valley for their own gain. I fell asleep. Where are the sausages? Oh, look at this. A spider gang took the lot. Oh, Lofty. You let them steal our lunch right from under your nose. They reckon that they could trail a webfoot platypus down a creek bed. You want to know why? I'll tell you. I think we made a mistake taking Lofty off duty. He's really upset. But we only did it for his own good. But we're supposed to stick by each other here. <laughs> That's what Secret Valley's all about. And the vote for this one is... Oh my God, I forgot about that one. It's forgotten. So Philip Littler, 4389, says, Forgotten. Does anybody remember Secret Valley? I think it was Australian and shown on Channel 4 in the early 80s. Theme music was sung along to the tune of Waltzing Matilda. Also, Whiz Kids, mid-80s US show about teenagers using computers and tech to solve mysteries, and excellent Maid Marian and her Merry Men. Marianne. And there we have it, there's five TV shows, good ones, forgotten ones, underrated, overrated, bad ones, as chosen by you guys. Did I miss any out? Of course I did. How many TV shows are there in the world? You let me know in the comments below, please hit the like button, the thumbs up button in the corner there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and share this video with your friends. And as usual, a shout out to my second channel, Eerie's Vault, where we look at weird, creepy, spooky, scary stuff that happens in the UK. It might be UFOs, aliens, monsters, creatures, poltergeists, ghosts, demons, time slips, weird stuff. If you're into weird stuff like that, head over to Eerie's Vault. There's a link in the description of this video. Bye for now. Thank you.